are going to look at trigonometric equations. We're going to like we're going to start with a basic basic one. Uh, the equation will say solve for theta. So you want to get uh, what how many degrees is theta? So what you do normally divide by cos both sides, but we use a calculator to divide for us. So you're going to go shift cos then you see it has a minus one there means we are dividing by cos and then you go fraction one over two then you close your bracket and then you find that your theta is 60 degrees then that's that let's look at the next example okay with the second one um, the catch with uh, the equations of trick, you need to leave the trick ratio all by itself. So when you look at here, you're multiplying it by 2, then you're adding a 2. So you're going to take the, 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 the plus 2 first. You're going to subtract by 2, subtract by 2, two both sides. So you have 2 sine theta is equals to 3 minus 2 is 1. So the next thing, get rid of the 2. You divide by 2 both sides. Then we have sine theta is equals to half. Then we have the trick ratio all by itself. When we have a trick ratio all by itself, we use our calculator to, to divide for us. We go shift sine half. One over two. Then it means our theta is equals to 30 degrees. Okay, let's do the third one. Right, with the third one, you, you have to start by noticing what is my angle. My angle is not theta, my angle is not 25, my angle is the whole bracket thingy there. It's theta plus 25. That's why they've put brackets around to show you that your, 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 your angle is theta plus 25. I want us to look at number 2. When you look at number 2, you had 2 sine theta plus 2. Your angle was theta, not theta plus 2. They didn't put brackets around. So that's how you, you see the difference. Right. And another thing, the 2 is a number, not in degrees. The 25 is in degrees and it's an angle. So my angle is the whole thing here is theta plus 25. What, why is that important? You do not, you should not, you must not fiddle with the angle. Leave the angle as it is and then solve and then solve the angle later. So, this is what I mean. We need to get rid of the tan. So, we're going to use our calculator to divide by tan both sides. And then we are left with theta. We don't need to write the bracket because we don't have anything else. We are left with theta plus 25 degrees is equals to. Then we need to find the angle there. Shift tan. 0 0.7 so we're gonna round when you round it off we get 35 degrees so theta is equals to 20 35 minus 25 minus 35 minus 25 then your theta is 10 degrees this is very important do not fiddle with a angle leave it as it is solve the other find the other angle then subtract okay the fourth one it's similar to that one i'm gonna use tan again and then i have theta divided by two is equals to let's use the same 0 0.7 so same thing here do not fiddle with the angle your angle now is theta divided by two that's your angle you don't multiply you don't do what you don't fiddle with the angle you do the same thing as you did before. So it means our theta divided by 2 will be 35 degrees. Then you get rid of the of the 2. Then you multiply by 2, both sides. Then your theta will be 35 times 2 will be 70 degrees. Right? Let's look at the last one. The fifth one. Okay, this kind usually throw, throws learners off where you have a ratio and another ratio. And uh, then they don't know how to solve the, the equation. But look at this one. 
it's cross 35 this is actually a number so you start by punching this in your calculator and get a number so you'll have sine theta is equals to then you take your calculator now what i want you to remember is that i am not looking for an angle i have an angle with these questions that we're doing we're looking for an angle that's why we're going shift tan then that number we're dividing with tan looking for an angle here i have the angle you punch it in your calculator as it is because you have the angle you're not looking for an angle so i'm gonna go cos 37 then you get a number it's 0 comma 7986 in trigonometry when you are still in the process of doing it don't round it off because you're actually making your answers wrong then write as many decimals as you can then i have theta is equals to then i go shift sign 0 comma 7 9 8 6 is equals to so i have 53 degrees because i have 52 comma 99 so it's 53 degrees so i have 53 degrees so don't be thrown off when you are given um, a, a, a ratio. Just put it in your calculator and get a number. Okay, this is how we do angles. Please practice great tense. These things are not hard. Thank you for watching.